Just this week, we've seen a toll of domestic violence. It's just taken a toll on our community. And on Tuesday, Murray Lancaster killed his ex-girlfriend, her dad, and his ex-wife in Clay County before killing himself. The same day, 46-year-old Lenny Drum was shot and killed. Police believe that her estranged boyfriend, Jose Maldonado, did it. And these crimes have shown us the importance of getting help if you're in a domestic violence situation. Joining us now is Ellen Seiler from the Hubbard House. Thank you so much for coming on. You Thank know, you. it's it's a, such a serious topic, and, and we know it's Saturday morning, but it's something that really needs to be discussed. Uh, we've seen this violence just this past week. How can you all help victims of domestic violence? Well, we have a whole host of services, the most important of which is the hotline and the emergency shelter. The hotline, you can call 24 hours a day. You can talk anonymously. You can call us as often as you want. If you need shelter, if you need a safe place to stay, we have the emergency shelter where you and your children can stay and be safe. We have a daycare on premises, a school on premises. We'll help you find a job. We'll help you find a place to live. Um, provide counseling for you and your kids, whatever it is you need to be safe moving forward. So basically, you all have covered the basis of, oh, I can't leave because where will I live? Oh, I can't leave because my child has school. You guys have kind of gotten it all covered for them. We do. We do. Um, and, you know, if you're in a violent situation, it can turn deadly at any point in time. There is no way to know when it's going to turn deadly. Um, so it's important that you be prepared. And um, how do, if you how need do people leave, get out of it? Yeah, I was supposed to say, isn't that the, the, the hardest part for people is actually making that step to remove themselves from the situation? How can someone do that? Yes, I mean, if you're in a situation that uh, you're worried about, that makes you feel bad about yourself, uh, begin to think about keeping important copies of important papers um, somewhere where the other person won't know where they are, whether that's in a bag in your house somewhere whether it's with someone else, um, start to set aside little amounts of money, although you don't have to have money to come into shelter, but right. um, birth certificates, um, social security card, that type of thing. Uh, make sure you have that stuff ready so should you have to flee, mm -hmm. you can quickly gather up important things you need. So like a go bag, ultimately. Absolutely, just like we do for hurricanes. Yeah. Um, talk to about what we've seen these people getting the help and then coming out with a better life maybe a success story that you know of somebody who's received i know you've helped a lot of people but just one that comes to mind well uh I, one that sticks in my mind is a, a woman who had two little boys three and five year olds we teach children that age how to safety plan too mm -hmm. so she'd come into shelter she'd built a new life um he found her she couldn't get to a phone. Her five-year-old knew to call 911. Her three-year-old grabbed his, um, his, his plan was to drop, he had asthma to grab his medications and get ready to head out the door. They both got safely out the door to the neighbors. The police came. She was safe. You know, that was some time ago, but those kids knew what to do, and that's why she's alive. Wow. And now she's just finishing up getting her law degree. That's an awesome um, story. So your whole life can change. It doesn't have to be what it is right now. It's making me watery eyed. Because really these people are, are victims and it's so difficult to, to get the courage up and the strength. But it's helped so many people and I know we appreciate all of your services here. Um, talk about your staff too. These people are trained for these situations and to help the victims of domestic violence. Yeah, some of our staff have been doing this 20, 25 years. Wow. I've been doing it 25 years. A lot of them are survivors so they have been there and they know what it's like um, and um, just to, for us this is really really important work mm -hmm. we want every woman and every child to feel safe and we do help men too but yeah. most of it's women yeah. um, and we will do whatever we can to help you thank you so much for coming on this morning and uh, you know again if you are in that situation the Hubbard House is here for you